Hey guys, welcome to the beautiful Bondi Beach. It's one of Sydney's most famous beaches. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different because if you know me, if you've been following my channel, you'll know I mostly make videos about Chinese food. Well, today that's not the case because I realized I've been here in Australia for over a year. I'm leaving in less than a month and I am yet to make any Australia related videos. So that changes today. I'm taking you guys for some of the most Aussie food experiences that you can experience and it's gonna be awesome. One little thing to keep in mind when you watch today's video is Australia is a country of migrants so a lot of these foods, no, they probably didn't specifically originate in Australia but they've become so iconic and so important to Australians that they've become part of our national identity. And with that being said, it's time to head to stop number one. It is 10 a.m. so that means only one thing, it's brunch time. And here in Australia, brunch is very, very, very important. If there's one thing Aussies love more than the beach, it's brunch. And if there's one thing millennials love more than brunch, it's taking photos of their brunch. Brunch is definitely the most Instagrammable meal of the day. And when it comes to photogenic brunch meals in Sydney, you cannot go past Bondi. Honestly, you can throw a rock and hit like 10 billion cute, cool, funky cafes here in Bondi. So I'm here at one of them. I'm just waiting for some friends because of course you can't brunch without some mates. And then we're gonna get into our first little food today. If you're curious as to what we'll be eating for brunch today, you only have to look at my t-shirt for a clue. Yay, so my friends have arrived. Welcome guys, so happy to have you in my video. Would you mind introducing yourselves really quickly for us? Good day guys, I'm Adrian. <laughs> so this is my sister Yeda. And I met uh, Amy three weeks ago. <laughs> but I've been following her YouTube channel for yeah. more than two years, I think. Oh. So it's a great pleasure to join her with her new video today. My name is Yena. Actually, I've been living in Australia for 10 years. Yeah. yeah, so I'm definitely a foodie. And today is such a pleasure that Amy invited us to have a taste testing. I'm really excited. This is our first stop for today. So obviously we're in a cafe. Like you guys know about brunch, right? Yes. Yeah, Do you like course. brunch? Yeah, we love it. It's more than like a lifestyle. Yep. <laughs> it's relaxed and lazy. And I like yeah. it. So since we're in a brunch cafe today, I've ordered us some avocado on toast to share because avocado on toast is like very, very, very popular thing to eat in Australia and probably in a lot of other countries as well, but Australians really love their avocado on toast. And I don't know if you guys saw that article that came out where a guy was basically like, Australian, young Australians are buying so much avocado on toast and most of the time it comes to around $20 for an avocado on toast, right? They could be taking that money and making a deposit on a house. So instead of us Australians, we're choosing to buy avocado on toast rather than buying a house. But as I'm sure you guys know, buying a house in Australia is like, so in Sydney, it's like yes. impossible, right? It's impossible. It's impossible. Yeah, it's a pretty country, so that's why yeah. in the recent years, it's a decades, yeah. more and more migrants come here. That's why yeah. the whole property is booming. But yeah. We can buy avocado on toast. Yes, yes. <laughs> One more thing I got for us, because um, we're at brunch, we also have to have coffee. And actually there is a type of coffee that was invented in Australia. It's called the flat white. And it's kind of, actually I have no idea what it actually is and how it's different from a latte, to be honest. So I had to Google it. A perfect flat white should have an intense coffee flavor and milk should only be a complement, not a predominant element. While the froth on top should be less airy and bubbly than in the classic cappuccino or cafe latte. So that is what a flat white is. I don't wake up until I have my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. It's hard to find a bad coffee in That's Sydney or especially Melbourne. Like you guys have been to Melbourne, right? Yes. So Melbourne coffee is like, you could go anywhere and get an amazing coffee. Really? Oh, yes. literally. Wow. It's such a competitive <laughs> environment for coffee. <laughs> so this here, we have our avocado on toast. Look, it's a $20 meal, so you have to justify the cost. So it's not just avocado, right? It's yeah. always like some uh, tomatoes or some other things and some duka salt or something. And the best for me, do you mind if I... Oh yeah, sure. sure. I, I love my avocado with some lemon. I love avocado so much. Yeah, me too. Cheers. 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 <laughs> it's worth 
not having a house to eat this. Yes, <laughs> I'll go for that. So the toast is very crispy. Avocado on the top. I think it's a good mixture yeah. of the crunchiness and also the like the mushy, mushy mm. kind of texture. Yeah, I love it. Talking of things that you can put on toast, I've also ordered us some dry toast here because I brought something from home. Oh, oh my god. god. You didn't bring that one. We have to. Like, we can't do Australian food episode and not talk about Vegemite. So, you guys, do you like Vegemite? Alright. That's a challenge for me. It's a challenge. Yeah, so if you guys out there are watching this video and maybe you're not too sure what Vegemite is, it's basically, it looks like it could be chocolate, which is the problem because a lot of people, they'll, you know, get a spoonful of it or put oh my a thick layer like Nutella on their bread and then they eat it and they're like, oh my gosh, what did I just eat? It's really salty. Like, what did you say? It's like so soy, soy sauce on bread. Soy sauce on bread. <laughs> the, the thing is that a lot of people, they are eating Vegemite incorrectly. So you don't want to get a huge thing onto your bread. You just want to put a little scrape. A little scrape with, with butter. Yes. Ideally you should use butter. Let's have some Vegemite guys. Okay. For you. For me. <laughs> That is enough. That is more than enough. If you are watching this video and you have Australian friends, they've probably tried to make you eat Vegemite before. I know that I've made all of my friends try, try Vegemite <laughs> overseas. You love that. I gave it to my boyfriend's parents, um, and they, and he, my boyfriend's dad was like, he couldn't believe what he was eating. He was like, this is crazy. <laughs> Okay. You, you, you try first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very salty. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's better than I thought. Yeah. yeah. With butter. Hmm. I think I can go for it when it's fun. Hey! Yeah, really. You just converted him to eat Vegemite. Oh my god. Is it healthy? Actually, yes, it is. What is it made of? Yeast. It's made from yeast, oh, and apparently oh, there's a lot of vitamin, vitamins, vitamin B or something in there. It's so good. It's better with coffee. Um, proper I'll go for a I need a cherry, so sorry. <laughs> I haven't had Vegemite since I was a little kid. Just super, super salty. Like, it would be actual torture. <laughs> if you got an, a spoon of this and just put it in your mouth. Yes. Also, someone told me it would be even better if you uh, put the Vegemite on the risen toast. Mm. Yeah, probably it's the, the, the fruity taste brings more like, texture and flavor to everything. Something else that I've heard is that people like to put um, goat's cheese with Vegemite. Literally, kill me. Because there's two things combination. Literally, that's it. Me too. So, that is it for our brunch experience today. Our next stop for today is going to be one of the most famous Aussie foods that you can get. And I'm pretty sure you guys would have had it before. Which is meat pie. This is a seriously iconic Aussie fast food, and it's even been described as Australia's national dish. But it's by no means a new invention. It's been around literally since the ancient, ancient times. I believe ancient Egyptians, Romans, and ancient Greeks all ate meat pies. And it's kind of, you know, made its way through history and it's evolved here and there. And there are variations of the humble pie that you can find all around the world, from the Spanish empanadas, to the Moroccan pastillas, to the Irish shepherd's pie, and even the American apple pie. If you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that pie it actually is all around. So while it isn't specifically an Australian made dish, it's a dish that means a lot to Australians. You can buy them everywhere in Australia. You can get them from like 7-Eleven, petrol station. And the frozen pie selection at the supermarket is a thing of beauty. It takes up two whole freezer door sections. So this is a pie as it appears in Australia. It should be nicely fitting in the hand. I got some fancy catering. I don't know. You don't no. Know. 
you're not gonna need that inside steaming with beautiful meat and gravy. It comes in different varieties and actually today we've also got ourselves a chicken pie and uh, another beef brisket pie but it typically looks a bit like this. You should always always put tomato sauce on top. Very typical Bondi moment. Um, we're going to get pies and the tomato sauce they serve it with is a homemade relish. Typically when you get a meat pie it'll come with one of these squeezy tomato sauce packs that you just kind of squeeze onto the top of your meat pie. Iconic. Almost as iconic as the pie itself. I wanted to give some tips for eating a meat pie. Um, sometimes it's better to roll your sleeve up. I don't know, it depends if you're going to drip or not. But let me tell you a trick. If you can eat the whole pie and drip nothing, your Aussie friends will be really impressed because that's what we're aiming for. First tip, and it's very important to remember this, two sauces. It comes in this, but you don't have to hold it. You hold it like this and you eat. And you eat with a bit of vertical. You don't keep it horizontal, keep it vertical because you want to keep everything in the pie. This is why you have to tune from other Because along the way, you might just want a, a little bit more tomato sauce. Dad, in your opinion, why is a meat pie so famous to Australia? Oh, hard question. Um, uh, probably part of our national identity. It's, you know, there's an old song, football, meat pies, kangaroos and holding cars. That's not going to mean anything to your viewers, but meat pies are in that. Watching the football with a beer and a meat pie, totally an Aussie thing to do. Oh, oh, oh. And that, my friends. When you walked in, she was like, can you give me this today? Who's Al? She was so excited. To eat a meat pie. Mmm. Yeah. Yum. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Yum. Wow, mm. very juicy. Yeah, that's a big chunk, big chunk of beef. Mm. Oh, very tender, beef. Wow. Yeah, very juicy. That's Australia. Mm. It's so delicious. It looks pretty on camera. Oh! <laughs> 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 when I was doing some research for this video, I came across an article that said that Australians eat an estimated 270 million pies per year. And that's wow. 11 pies per person per year. Are you guys eating that many pies a year? No. This is my second in the last 10 years. <laughs> so I guess there's some people out there that are eating a lot more than 11 per year. Yes. People love their pies. What do you like better, Vegemite or meat pie? Of course this. <laughs> I'm a meat lover. <laughs> For our next food experience, I'm taking you to a very Aussie place, the pub. And when it comes to pub, there's some staple pub mills, and one of them I'm about to show you guys, it's the chicken parmigiana. This here is the glorious chicken parmigiana, or chicken parmi, as us in Sydney like to call it. Melburnians, however, will maintain it's called chicken parma, but that's a debate we are so not going into today. Have you had one before? No. I have, actually. Yeah. Oh, so really? Is that chicken breast with the cheese or something like yes, that? Yes, yes, oh. it is. It sounds Italian because it has roots in like American Italian cooking, but it's one of those other foods that is just so beloved here in Australia that I guess you could count it as kind of an Australian food. We're here at the pub. Of course, we need to get ourselves what? Sure, beer. Beer, yeah. Just, beans, <laughs> just after order, a big chunk of beef. <laughs> need to wash down all sure. of that flavour. Cheers! It's really nice. Do you have a chicken parma? We do, yeah, yeah. Can we keep one? Um, of course, we've got it with chips and salad or mash and veg. Chips and salad. Chips and salad, please. <laughs> Here it is. It's essentially a chicken schnitzel topped with tomato sauce, sometimes ham, melted cheese, and invariably served with chips and a side salad. Although there's a split between those who think the chips should be under the palmy and those who think the chips should be on the side. But again, that's a debate we are so not going into today. <laughs> Fun fact, this was actually voted one of the world's most delicious foods. So CNN made a, a list of the world's best tasting foods. There was a list of 50 foods and chicken parmigiana, the only entry from Australia, came 30 so that give, kind of gives you an indication of how important and amazing this meal is. Since this is your first ever chicken parmi, <laughs> you're going to eat it first and wow. tell us what you think. I think there's three different layers, yeah. so the chicken, the tomato cheese. sauce and the cheese. Okay, here we go. Mm. The texture. Texture is very rich. Yeah. You have the crunch of the crunchiness of the chicken, 
and you can still taste the, the richness of the of the uh, cheese as well. But the chicken's flavor is quite bland, bland for me. <laughs> I think if we can put some like, pepper and salt, it will be much better. <laughs> That's a lot of cheese. I found the chips in Australia, not only they put salt, also they put the chicken powder. Mm, chicken or, salt. Yeah, chicken salt. Yeah, where in the UK, it's just the, the salt. Let's make the chips more flavorful. So I hope that you guys like chips because our next stop is uh, going to be more chips. <laughs> it's going to be more chips. Definitely, I love chips. Yeah, I could eat chips all day. It's like my guilty pleasure. So here in Australia, we have some of the best beaches in the world, so it's only fair that we also have some of the best seafood in the world. And one of the best things to eat on our amazing beaches is fish and chips. So we're going to go in here and order some fresh fish and chips. And there's also one other thing here that's a specialty that I want the, want the guys to try out. One Mars bar ready. Have you guys ever tried deep fried Mars bar? Yes. Yeah. So Some they do it here. Of, uh, deep fried ice cream. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that'll be our dessert oh, for today. Okay. So how long has the place been open? Since 46 years ago. Oh my goodness, and it's always been here. Oh, that's our parents. Wow. And has it always been famous for the Mars bar? Is this the first place they did it? Yes. Wow. We're the only one licensed to sell it. So there's a lot of shops doing it, but illegally. Oh my goodness. We, we actually have a contract with Mars. Oh my god. That's why we're the only ones allowed to sell it. Where did the idea for this come from? It actually came from a Scottish guy. How many Mars bars would you, deep fried Mars bars would you sell a day? Oh, when we first started, oh. I reckon about 60, 70. Oh my goodness. So we've got our Mars bar, we've got our fish and chips. Are you guys still hungry? Yes, we're one of these. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! That looks so good. Our final dish for today, fish and chips on the beach. I asked for chicken salt. I love this. What about my favourite? I got barramundi because barramundi is Typical Australian kind of fish. Most popular fish. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. Very tender inside when I cut it. Ah! Outside, just very crunchy. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. Good. Wow, that's a good one. Mm. For real. No oily. fishiness. It's so soft wow. and tender. Mm. Oh. Very crispy. You're surprised at how tender it is mm. inside. Yep. This is fantastic. You honestly so fresh. wouldn't want to eat anything else on the beach. Oh, that. The biggest problem with eating on the beach is seagulls. I'm actually surprised <laughs> they haven't found us here. <laughs> yeah. So peaceful. We still have one more thing to go. We I couldn't resist getting us a deep fried Mars bar. Ah! Because this is like super famous. How come I never tried it? Thank you, Amy. Yeah, no. For introduced this to us. You know what? Here's a secret. I've never tried one either. <laughs> Apparently it's very fake. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's so funny. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god. god. Wow. That's the caramel, I think. <laughs> Melted caramel. <laughs> right, it's girlfriend. That Cheers. was amazing. Cheers. 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 Wow. So rich. And crispy on the outside. That's crazy. I've never had anything oh, like this. Really oh my god. You love sweetness. That's the thing you are looking for. I can tell. You're in love. You can you can have ten of them. Yeah, ah. I can feel. Yeah. I think I just made a very dangerous move for him. Yeah, that's it. Every time when he comes to Bangai, he will have it. So I honestly don't think I've ever had so many Australian foods all at once. Um, Me too. But I feel very full. I feel like I need to go for a, like a long walk after this. But the good thing that over there is like one of the best walks in Australia. The Bondi right. Coastal Walk is so beautiful. Um, so if you ever come to Australia, make sure you check that out, especially if you've just had a big meal of fish and chips or something. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank I've had the best us. time. My pleasure. You tried a couple of new things today, right? Oh yes, yeah, definitely. Course, definitely. The yes. fried Mars bar for you. That? Yeah, we do. The parmigiana. Parmigiana for me, yes. Yeah, I'm heading back to China in a month. And I'm going to be definitely going to Chengdu, so you have to give me some tips of like yeah, what to eat there. These guys are from Chengdu, so yes. yeah. Yeah, looking forward to see you in Chengdu. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Next time I'll join you in Chengdu.
Oh, yes, please. I would love that. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It was a little bit different today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, we will see you next time. Bye. 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 Guys.